Rabbit and Dormouse and the others were very careful how they spoke to Badger, who was much bigger and stronger than any of them and lived all by himself in a big, deep burrow in the ground. All the little creatures were very polite to Badger and always said, sorry and excuse me. They never dared say no to Badger or I won't or it's mine. One day, a strange little creature came into the wood. What is it? said Squirrel. It looks like a rat, but it's not a rat. Who's calling me a rat? squeaked the little creature. I'm not a rat. Then perhaps you're a sort of rat, said Squirrel. I'm not a sort of anything, squealed the little creature. I'm me, guinea pig. Guinea pig? laughed all the little creatures. We've never heard of guinea pig before. Where do you live? I live in a cage in a garden, said guinea pig, rooting about among the green things in the wood. It's nice to get out and about sometimes. I've never been in a wood before. There's lots of nice things to eat here. And he took a big bite out of a juicy green plant growing at the bottom of a tree. This is nice, he murmured, licking his little chops. You'd better not eat that, warned Hedgehog. Why? asked Guinea Pig, munching away. It's Badger's favorite, said Hedgehog. I don't care whose favorite it is, said Guinea Pig. I like it. Who's Badger, anyway? Who's Badger? cried Hedgehog. Everybody knows who Badger is. He's the boss in this wood. I don't care who he is, said Guinea Pig. I'm not afraid of him. I'll say boo to him and he'll run away. And he went on munching. Badger won't run away, said Squirrel. That's for sure. Guinea Pig stopped munching to say, He will. All big bullies are cowards. Is that so, said Squirrel. Then we'll soon find out. For here comes Badger. Down the little path in the wood lumbered a big, bulky badger. He came straight up to Guinea Pig, who just went on eating as though nothing had happened. Stop eating that plant, growled Badger. I won't, squeaked Guinea Pig with his mouth full. Do you know who I am? roared Badger, looking very fierce. I don't care who you are, said Guinea Pig. Why should you have all the best bits and pieces because you're so big? L listen to him, squealed Rabbit. Fancy speaking to Badger like that. I've never heard anything like it in all my life. I wouldn't like to be him. Squirrel ran to the end of the branch of his tree so that he could see better. If that guinea pig has any sense, he'll run for his life and never come back into this wood again. But guinea pig didn't run. He just stood there, munching away and not caring about anything. Badger was very puzzled. He'd never seen this little creature before. He knew it didn't live in the wood like hedgehog and squirrel and rabbit and dormouse and weasel. Badger wasn't quite sure what to do. Hedgehog and squirrel and rabbit and dormouse and weasel would have run away from him. But this strange little creature wasn't at all afraid, though he was quite small. He just went on munching and wouldn't budge an inch. Could he be stronger than he looked, wondered Badger. He would try frightening him again. For the last time, roared Badger. Stop eating that plant. Then, Guinea Pig did a surprising thing. He stood on his little hind legs and squealed and squealed at Badger as hard as he could. Bully! He squealed. <coughs> Badger was so surprised that he didn't know what to do. Nobody had ever shouted at him before. He was so surprised that he decided to go home and think about it. So he turned round and lumbered off home. You see, squeaked Guinea Pig, I told you, all bullies are cowards. And he went on munching until he'd had enough. Oh well, he said, I think I'll go home now. They'll be wondering where I am. And don't let that big badger bully you anymore. Just stand up in front of him and shout, boo. And off Guinea Pig went. But of course, Squirrel and Hedgehog and the others never did say boo to Badger. They never had done, and they never would do. But from that day, all the little creatures in the wood, Squirrel and Hedgehog and Rabbit and the others, told their children the story of how a brave little animal called a guinea pig once stood up. I wish I could have been there when the guinea pig said boo to the badger. 
He went, boo, boo. Let's hear a song about an animal that goes, bah, bah. If you know this song, you could sing it. Oh, my dear. 